Hey guys, welcome back with Life of the Hamptons. As you can see, I'm in a precarious spot. Um, check the shirt, check the shirt. Keep America great. Um, looking like it's backwards. Trump 2020. Anywho, I have got doing a little checking up on my my Pegasus mower. And this is new, yeah, the brick has used it for a, a walk board, looks like. Uh, being parked down there next to the pigs and he walks through the mud and walks all over this, so it's nasty, but this is a 60 inch Pegasus mower. And I first got it, it, it just seemed like it didn't cut good. So uh, I, I thought what I was doing was just cutting down around 500 RPM, so uh, I, I turned it up a little bit and it cut a little better. I thought, well, I want, I guess I have to deal with it. It just cut real slow and it done fairly well. Not like I thought a, a you know, $1,500 finished mower should. So I got to looking on further inspection. I picked this thing up this afternoon and this is what I saw. Joe, look at this. Now, you got two blades over there. Um, they're dull. They're, I mean, they're, I don't know, you'd think they would come sharp from a factory, but these things, they don't have a cutting edge. They're, they're dull. I mean, they're rounded, literally rounded off. But this one, if you'll see how this point is higher than here. So this is the highest point, then these blades fall down. You can see this one. See how this one was mounted. It mounted the opposite way. So, brand new from the factory blade was on backwards so the thing that was cutting as you can see the cutting edge is here yeah, see my cast with my white leg the cutting edge this has been doing the cutting and that is the cutting edge it's supposed to be like this that's supposed to be the cutting edge but as you can see it's been cutting going this way because it's been upside down swinging that way i was noticing my left my driver's side left side of the mower was always that was the only about foot 16 inches on the left hand side of the mower was the one that was keeping uh, keeping the grass beat up. It wasn't really mowing it down very well at all. Even when I would go slower on the big heavy stuff in my field, it just it was just knocking it down more. Uh, so I figured that out. So what I'm gonna do, they're all dolls. So I'm gonna take and we're gonna take them off and I'm gonna sharpen them and we're gonna put them back on and we're gonna see how. It I didn't get any video of the sharpening the blades. Yeah, everybody figure out how to do that. But as you can see, uh, yeah, we got some sharp edges on those things. Look at that. Mm-hmm, yeah, buddy. And if you'll notice, on the back side, that bottom one is the one that was turned upside down and it used to knock the paint off. Um, that's what it was trying to mow with. And I'm not knocking the Pegasus mower um because i don't know how they come i don't know if they're completely set up from the factory when they go to the dealer or if they come partly assembled and the dealer has got to put the blades on and and uh the uh pto shaft and all that stuff i don't know how they come assembled or not assembled so i'm not gonna knock the pegasus mower because it could be the dealer if it's the dealer my oh my Please, please teach your employees a cutting edge from a non-cutting edge. Pretty please. So I was about to give some bad reviews on this uh, mower. And, uh, man, I thought I thought about it, but then I thought, well, let me raise it up and check it. And uh, when I did that, it was just bam. It was just right there in my face. That one blade was upside down, and it was cutting with a dull... I mean, completely just like a quarter inch thick piece of steel. 
no wonder it wouldn't cut but now the other ones were dull i mean the the other ones literally had the they were turned right but the sharp edge on them went down like a 45 degree angle and then there was like a like a 32nd or a 64th at the bottom was just flat now i know that's a small you know very small area that's just flat but it was by no means sharp it wouldn't i mean it wouldn't cut hot butter don't know they may send them like that and the you know the uh, dealership may be the one to uh, supposed to sharpen them i don't know so anyway we're gonna put these back on here and uh we're gonna see how this thing goes. Yeah, i don't know if y'all can see but uh it did a excellent job and i just had to go over it one time one time only before i was having to go over it two or three times and even then there was still a whole lot of spots that it wasn't getting but uh now it does super good once it's got sharp blades and they're not upside down really good job all right hope you guys like share and subscribe uh, anything you want to see like always leave in the comments y'all have a blessed day take care